Hello everyone, my name is Christoph Schell. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer at Intel and I'm in Europe. I'm in Amsterdam and I'm meeting with a lot of customers. And one of these customers is right here with me, Richard. Nice to meet you. It's awesome nice that you're taking time and talk to me. Richard is the Chief Operating Officer and the Director of Science of a really cool company called AI.io. What do you guys do? We're a technology and data company, mm -hmm. um, but we specialize uh, very specifically in the space of big scale human tracking performance data. Okay. Um, and we, we're, we're on a path to democratize a process around particularly talent ID and scouting, where which is very manual, very labor intensive, lots of journeys, lack sustainability. And what we do through for a smartphone mm -hmm. is we can allow players to go out and generate their own data. Mm -hmm. So doing football specific moves or sports specific moves goes up into, into the cloud where we work with you guys okay. to put loads of tracking over the top, um, lots of AI processes on there. Um, that all comes back to the player with, with scores that have been benchmarked against real academy players and the clubs use it on the other side to, to look at that data and say, there's a player that we didn't know even existed and we should be bringing them into our academy. So who is your customer? Is it the player or is it the club? It's also both. It's both. If, if we roll it all the way back, um, Darren Perry's our founder. His, his son's played grassroots football. Okay. And, and this is really where the, the, the problem, um, he, he saw the problem. So you've got a big sports industry mm. where there's lots of data. Players have been signed for hundreds of millions of pounds with data and huge contracts. Mm. Grassroots Academy, there's, it's non-existent. Yeah. And they are the players of the future, mm. right? And we, we, we always say talent is made equally, but opportunity isn't. And because you have to be in the right place, the right time, that scout's got to go out and hope you've had a good game and that one particular opportunity. So what we're saying is if we have a mobile phone, if you can get the data, put it in your hands, just from the garden, point and shoot that camera, play football, and we can track all of that and give those, those metrics back to the club. The club wins and the player wins. The player wins. So you're yeah. democratizing talent. Absolutely. Sports, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. really cool. And we can use the same data for player development too. So, so it extends into that player development piece. So even if you just want to be a little bit better than your neighbor, we can do that. We can do that. That's great. So now you talked already about the cloud, but maybe you can describe to anyone watching here how you work with Intel. I mean, it's definitely the cloud, but I also could think about some edge use cases, some analytics that we do together. Can you describe how we work yeah, together? Yeah, and, and a lot of it's about running quite quite intensive compute for, for with AI in the cloud, yeah. running on AWS, and then we, we work that with, with, through with Intel. Um, and there's a few pieces there that we use actually. So we do have quite a big footprint with, with you guys. You've, you've supported us actually saw the vision from, from the very beginning. So you've helped us along the way of going, actually, this is how we make you more cost efficient. Um, here's what, how we make you fast. Here's how we make you learn faster. Um, so primarily, I think probably everyone's heard of, you know, Xeon scalable processes. We can't do it without that, ultimately. So this, this thing goes out to the world. Okay. We need to be able to sure that our service and the technology we provide can be scaled across everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. And they get the same opportunity, the same speed that all their data comes back at, and that's you know we 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 need we need Xeon to do that ultimately. For someone like us as a startup, from a cost perspective, mm -hmm. the fact that we get to leverage any upgrade to Xeon without any extra engineering mm -hmm. is massive for us, right? So if we can reduce those costs, so you're helping us reduce those costs right through that engineering path. Um, and Habana Gaudi, I think we we run AI, mod AI models, right? They they're about understanding sporting movement mm. and having the system over time learn more about that sporting movement to better identify talent or to better be able to develop players. Mm. So having, having those, those deep, deep learning processes involved to actually accelerate that learning and that growth just means we can get to scale faster mm. and, and we can service our clubs better. And then we do this together with another ecosystem partner of Intel, AWS. Yeah. So AWS is a very close partner of yours as well that basically hosts uh, all your compute. Yeah, they do. and, 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 just, and, and so it was Intel that kind of guided us through that path as well. You'd, you'd already figured out the hard stuff around, figuring out the scale solution. I mean, talking about those, those that that compute load again as well. It's it's, it's really expensive. Yes, it is expensive. Right? Yes. Um, so you optimizing already and being efficient already in that space. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was just a natural process for us to work through you guys and, and AWS. So Richard, one real key feature or value proposition even is how you guys think about sustainability. Um, could you explain that? I can, yeah, and it's an important point as well because the when we talk about sustainability and reducing journeys that scouts might have to do to, to find talent, because now we with a mobile phone we can almost get data on anybody. Yeah, a really important distinction is that we're just optimizing those scouts, so we're not we don't replace that scout. We optimize them to make sure they they look in the right places at the right time. Mm -hmm. um, there's 265 million soccer players worldwide. Mm -hmm. You can't possibly have enough scouts to see all of them. 
So they're now to get that data up front, get that objective data up front that's benchmarked against their teams or their academy players. Mm -hmm. It gives that scout the opportunity to go, my time is better invested yeah. over here today, not over there. And what that's done over time with likes of, likes of Chelsea, it's just reduced the amount of journeys they needed to do. Mm -hmm. It's reduced the recruitment timelines to finding players, which, which benefits everyone, less flights, less car journeys for both player and, and scout. So you basically help them to qualify the lead. Absolutely. Qualify the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. It, it almost my like sales a, team yeah. should be doing too. So <laughs> I was it's about great. to say it's like a traditional sales <laughs> process, right? There's there's a funnel to it, but yeah. Okay. Well, if you could give us some feedback on how it feels to be working with Intel, day in, day out, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs> there's there's a lot of smart people at Intel, which yes. has been, um, I, and I think that sometimes gets hidden with having commercial relationships with yeah. with with products yeah. or services. Um, but everyone within Intel, cl very smart clearly know their world and have, and, and have been there to guide us along that way as well and pick up that vision really early. And I think we there's a few stories there that I think what we're trying to achieve links into what, what Intel do, which makes it easier, particularly around sustainability or democratizing opportunity for, mm -hmm. for, for young people. Uh, so those two, we, we kind of connected on those piece, pieces very early. And, and that had to work for us because we're, we're, we're telling the world that we don't charge the players to use our product, mm -hmm. right? It's, we, we charge the clubs and the organization. So that complete democratization, we have to have a partner that buys into that, believes in that as well. Um, so that, that was hugely valuable. At the same time, you're a massive organization. Mm -hmm. So sometimes there's lots of people to talk to to get something done, <laughs> right? I yes. think we all know that. But, um, but other than that, honestly, the, the, the working relationship is, is amazing. We just signed a deal with the MLS to bring on the whole MLS uh, ecosystem. Mm -hmm. um, and there's other sports, which, um, which we can't talk about just yet. But uh, I think if you can think of a sport, we've probably had that conversation. We're going into that's that, multi that, that, that multi-sport arena as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. Richard, it was awesome to have you here. Thanks very much for coming. Thanks, and thanks for being such a great partner and customer. Yeah. And Richard. to all of you, I hope you enjoyed this conversation uh, and hope to talk to all of you soon again. Bye-bye.